everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle and today I'm going to be sharing some of my art techniques with you guys. This is my fourth time making an art video and you guys seem to like these videos very much and I have a very fun time um, creating them for you guys. Um, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell and that like button and comment down below if it's getting chilly where you live because it's getting really chilly around here. Um, but anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Okay guys, so here we are, and I'm not sure if you guys remember this red sketchbook from my art uh, re reviewing Art Supply 2 video, but um, here it is. And I have three sketches that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. And my first one is this one right here. Um, and my second one is this one right here. And my third and last one is this one right here. Um, so let's start by talking about the first one. As you can see, it's a girl and usually when I am drawing or when I'm about to draw something, I usually get inspiration from Pinterest or from the internet. Um, and feel free to use your imagination. I think it's very important that you do. Um, but every once in a while, I really do like going on Pinterest because um, they have some really nice drawings on there and I sometimes like to go on there and uh, recreate those. Um, but usually I'll create the face itself by um, taking something like a, a pencil holder and tracing a circle from it and then I'll create a face shape from it. And um, something that's very important when you're drawing a human figure or a face, just like a portrait, um, I think it's very important to shade and add highlights. Highlights will really um, add this sort of finish line to your drawing and it makes your drawing look complete. It also adds some character to your drawing and it kind of explains the setting of your drawing in some way as well. Highlights can also be very difficult and I have enough trouble with them. Um, if you want to buy uh, pencils for um, highlights, there are special pencils for that and they're called white charcoal pencils. So you can search them up on Amazon, in fact I might try and um, uh, leave a link down below in the description box um, of the exact white charcoal pencils that I have right now. Um, but yeah, highlights are very important and as you can see I really do like the highlights here and they definitely added something to the drawing. Um, and as for the rest, I would say that something uh, that's always very difficult, difficult is um, the lips. And I think everyone has lots of trouble drawing lips just because the lips, like they can't be too big and they can't be too small and they have to be just right. Um, and here it is. Honestly, they're not perfect, but I am proud of it. And yeah, so that's what I have to say about this drawing. Um, it was a side portrait and I honestly don't have that much trouble with these. Um, but let's move on to the next drawing that I really like, I'm really proud of. Um, so here it is. And um, as you can see, it's a girl and lots of shading was done on this. I remember when I finished this, I was so proud of it. And um, something that was that's important to me whenever I'm drawing is that I find the exact picture that makes me feel like so inspired and feel this sort of energy that's so exciting and I just want to like grab my pencil and start drawing. And it's really important that you find something that you love, not just something that you like. And um, that's what happened for this drawing. I literally loved the picture so much and I got inspiration from Pinterest again. But apart from that, as you can see, the highlights were very important as well here. Um, and as you can see, the, the dark colors in this drawing really played a role, um, especially in the eyes and the eyebrows. Um, in order to like blend down my drawing, I don't use some sort of like special blender. I usually just use my finger because um, it's honestly just a lot easier. And um, uh, yeah, it smudges really well. And as you can see, I did that with the eyebrows because if I didn't, then it would kind of be like very streaky. Um, something that's important to know that I wanted to tell you guys is that whenever you're drawing the hair, I don't recommend that you do it strand by strand, um, unless you're going for like a very realistic look. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that because honestly it's very tough, it's uh, also a lot of work, and most of the time it doesn't look that great. 
unless you've used all sorts of uh, special pencils and different shades and tones and highlights, then it's okay. But apart from that, I think I recommend just um, kind of like um, shading the hair in and then like smudging it with your finger, adding in highlights and adding in different tones. Um, but I mean, apart from that, what I have to say for this drawing is that um, uh, the posture here was very different and very like unique. And I would say that a lot of people might have a tough time doing this because I myself did. And um, again, I think it all depends, like as I was explaining earlier, I might use something as simple as like a pencil holder and I'll like trace a circle off of it. And um, that one circle will honestly help you do literally everything. Um, and it'll help you like create the shape of the face so that you know like how big your face should be and according to the size of your paper you should get some sort of circle that's you know good for the, for the size of the paper but that's what i have to say for this one and for my last and final one here it is um uh and as you can see she's in a very different different like posture she's holding up her thumb to her lips and she's obviously thinking she's obviously a very curious person she also looks very artistic um, but I know that it's not just me literally everyone has to have struggles with drawing fingers and I definitely had a hard time on this one usually whenever I'm drawing hands which most of the time they're closed I'll draw this like line and then I'll draw like I'll draw in like the knuckles and then I'll erase the lines that are in between um and that's kind of how i draw a closed hand but i know that everyone struggles with it and i definitely haven't mastered the art of drawing hands so if you can draw hands really well honestly props to you because that stuff is hard um but uh as you can see there wasn't really much of a role in highlights um but in this drawing i think it was more of structure and more of characteristic and there are going to be some drawings like that, and that's okay, and um, it honestly depends on what type of look you're looking for. If I added in the shades, I feel like it would have been a little too extra, but um, I think I'm really proud of this one as well. Um, so that's kind of what I have to say, um, and in terms of like pencils and what types of pencils you should be using, you can just use a simple 2B pencil. Um, a sketch pencil, a simple 2B sketch pencil, and um, I have like an entire set of pencils and I don't use them uh, for my regular sketching, whoops, um, but um, if you want to like create like really dark shades, then I would recommend using a 6B pencil, those are really good and if you apply enough pressure you can get like something really really dark. And um, here are the white charcoal pencils that I, were, I was talking about earlier. Here's what they look like. Um, and sometimes they won't make like the biggest mark because um, it depends on how hard you, uh, you press with your pencil um, because it's not really going to layer very well if you've like pressed super hard with like your original pencil. And um, yeah, it honestly really depends on how you're using it. So um, I just... I just recommend erasing for your highlights. Um, but if you're looking for something lighter, I would just say simply just use like an HB pencil. Those are really light and there's also, they're also really great for drawing. Um, but I'm not going to talk too much about pencils um, as it is this, um, this video is about art techniques. But one more thing I wanted to mention is um, all of the talk on these types of erasers. And I know that a lot of you guys might have the question, what is the difference between a pink or a real like solid eraser and this eraser? So with a solid eraser, you can erase pretty quick. Um, it'll leave some marks though, um, like you know, those little, little things that come from the eraser and those can be really annoying and um, you kind of have, they can also like ruin your drawing in some way. If you're like moving them across the paper, it might like smudge, it might erase some of your drawing, but just like these come in handy a lot. And also these won't like erase like right away super, uh, super quick. 
which allows you to like fix a minor detail and that's honestly really important. I cannot tell you how many times when I've used like a pink solid eraser that I have just like wanted to fix this tiny little thing and it messes up everything around it. Um, they can be quite a mess though if you really want to you can like shape it into like the form of like a pencil and you can really get in there with the fine details but I really like these types of erasers and um, if you're looking to like shade and do a drawing like um, like this one then I would definitely recommend using one of these. Um, but um, in terms of erasers and pencils, that's it for that. And um, I'm not really sure if I have anything else to say. Um, so yeah, um, that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And um, comment down below if you like doing artwork as well. And make sure you post a picture in your comment. And I'd be more than happy to look at it. And um, I would be more than happy to see your artwork. Um, I love you guys so much and I love making this video for you guys. I post every Sunday so make sure you check out my page. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!